two, one, action. Here, yeah, that's magic. There was a time about 25 years ago when the art of crystal gazing was dominant in vaudeville. Audience of that era was enthralled while Mastermind looked into a glass ball and gave answer after answer ad nauseum to queries written by customers. People were actually troubled or highly interested. Redundant as that may sound, it's true. Magic magazines of that period abounded with advertisements clamoring for $100 to $200 as a reasonable return for a trunk full of gadgets plus a 20 odd page manuscript, possession of which would assure the buyer's success in that theatrical field. Time like trouble in the hearts of men marches on. The crystal ball, the handbox reader beneath, the nickel plated sphere with a cog wheel controlled spinning band inside. The question is, will you get married? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Is that the question? How did you do that? Could this be like Cuba? Oh my god. You going to Cuba? Yes. I'm going to write a little message on the other side. I don't want you to open this today. I don't want you to open this tomorrow. I want you to feel in your heart when to open this. This is going to change the entire outcome of your future. And I promise you there'll be something so incredible in there that will change your life. Oh now bear in mind, this totally is something that surrounds your life and only your life. Because I had a feeling that I'd meet you today. What did you write down? Red Rose. So you committed to Red Rose? Yes. So I'd like to leave you with this. <laughs> Seven, right? Is that right? Seven? And you held up uh, five? Yes. Seven and five, okay, fantastic. Okay, okay, that's impressive. That's very impressive. Would you like me to try guess the amount inside the box or the amount in your hand? The ones in my hand. Six, right? Okay, that's that's very, very, very spooky. Um, thank you for your time, ladies. <laughs> and that should be <laughs> thirteen um, or four. Focus on the exact day and month that you was born. February, right? <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> It's okay. I'd either say the 19th or 20th of February. 19th? 19th, okay. The pedestal prompter for its pulpit appearance, the various electrical devices, either direct contact or induction from carpet to turban. All of these means to an end have their day. Audiences today go for the mental type of trickery more than ever. It's more of a grown up phase of magic and mystery. And there seems to be a greater element of wonder when the performer can reveal unknown information, knowledge, or something personal about members of his audience. I'm not in any way slighting magic as a whole when I say this. But I found it to be true so far as my own work is concerned, Theo Animal. <laughs>